All right, YouTubers. So on that long trip, I didn't eat as well as I should. So what we're going to have now is a Gene K's Veggie Pasty. These are awesome. I like them. And they're pretty easy to cook. The New Wave Mini 2 that stayed at home. Plug it in. And the directions say like 70 minutes. I'm going to do these 62 minutes. I usually do an hour, but I'll do 62. Are we in there? Are we in there? There we go. All right. So an hour and two minutes later, I'm going to get to eat that. All right. We're within a minute, and then I'll let it cool. <laughs> this is something I have to do from time to time, because a lot of people do comment. There we go. That, uh... Sometimes I eat a little bit too much red meat, and this trip I ate a little bit too much cheese. So, uh, gonna do some veggie stuff for a few days, I think. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you me cutting into this wonderful pasty from Gene K's in Marquette, Michigan. They ship it, but it's a little pricey to get it shipped. Ooh, there's still heat in there. Boom. You need smell a vision. Gene K's veggie pasties are awesome. Looky there. See the cheese, nice. <laughs> Do a flyover. Nice. Are right, gonna eat it? Oh, that is hot, but it's so good, too. All right, YouTubers, trying to eat a tiny bit better. Have a great and wonderful day. All right, YouTubers, so I'm going to try to do a couple veggie things. These are Boca veggie crumbs, and I'm going to make that soup that I make a lot, but I'm going to make like a veggie version of it, which I guess in actuality I could do with just not any meat or fake meat, but... I don't know, I like it. Dump that stuff in the pot. That's what it looks like still frozen. Turn the burner on and we're gonna cook that down, brown it up a little bit. I'm gonna try to make this quick. And these are even said to be vegan, so for what it's worth. All right, so I defrosted that real quick. Run it through the nucleator to defrost it. And is this as good as when I make it with hot sausage? No, but it's a little better for you, so. Veggie crumbles if you want to do something different. All right. And then all the ingredients will go in. So that's coming along pretty well. Next we're going to put in a can of corn, mixed vegetables, carrots, sweet peas, another can of mixed vegetables. And what I do is um, I rinse these right in the can. You know, just go to the sink and I uh, fill them with water, use the lids to drain the water to get what little bit of salt out of it that I can. Um, I don't have salt issues, but if you do, fresh vegetables are obviously better than using this. And next, the thing of V8 Spicy. Quick and easy soup base. And then what I do is I put some more water in this. Slosh it around and get the rest of it out. And that is like two minutes soup. Now you just let it cook. Right? All right. All right, come back. I might show you a taste. All right, and now it's just a matter of bringing it up to a boil and then let it simmer for a while. Probably going to do it over some pasta, which isn't the healthiest thing, but, you know, I need pasta. There's some pasta. And some of that meatless soup. <laughs> Give it a taste. Again, I eat this knowing it's not as good as if it had hot Italian sausage, but it's still good and a little bit better for you. So there's something quick. Have a great and wonderful day. All right, let's see here. <laughs> I don't know, it's healthier. Let's see what it tastes like. Well, it's healthier. I'll say that. Um, that's the struggle with trying to find, 
you know, meatless meals. You're eating them for the health reason, not really the taste reason. The veggies are right, but there's a strange, almost like dirt quality. <laughs> All right, I might eat it again. It's not that bad. And it's healthy. Making up for all those steaks and hamburgers. You can pause if you want to try to read the ingredients. Is this veggie stuff perfect? No. It's out of a box, but I just showed you the contents and it's got to be better than you know a pound of steak so this is the um, Asian version and this is the Thai one they don't look that much different so here's what we're gonna do hold on alright I put an A on the Asian one and I didn't put anything on the other one what did I put an A with sriracha of course so we're gonna nuke these up like it says and uh, I'll let you know all right, there we go. Um, as you can see, there's an A. I put an A on the other side when I flipped it in a nucleator. These are not uh, firm. These are a little soft, so I'm questioning the texture. All right, so that is the Asian one. Let's taste it. Okay, what that is, is exactly what you think it is. It is a vegan veggie burger. Um... Is it as good as a burger? No, 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 it's not. Is it edible? Shh. Okay, <laughs> it's it's edible. I think these were three seventy-five a box at Aldi's. I can eat it. It's uh, it's that whole game we play. It's a little bit of balance, you know. You make up for when you get to uh, have better stuff by eating some edible stuff. This is the Thai one. Let's see. Okay. This one is a little bit spicier because it's Thai and it doesn't have any sriracha on it. Um, you saw the ingredients that were in it. Alright, they're edible. I'd do better if I didn't eat them on a bun, but every now and then you want to have something in your freezer. Veggie option or vegan option too. To make up for cheat days or if you're a, you know a veggie or a vegan these are edible um, I'm gonna slosh a whole lot more sriracha on them and I think if you know if you doctored them up with onions and mushrooms and tomato or whatever you like on a burger that's obviously gonna help them out but they are edible all right try to eat healthy every now and then have a great and wonderful day